everyone to my channel. This is a sharing of my travel experience of what I see and hear on the way. And today's destination is Serbia. Our journey began from Dalian, lasting for seven days. We took a slow train to arrive at Beijing on time. The room had four beds with a narrow hallway where we can charge our phones. I wouldn't recommend public toilet on trains in China. Well, too many people are using them, and usually not cleaned up as frequently as you wish. The condition changed for the better getting to Beijing Airport. Not only less people per toilet, but various charging spots everywhere. arrived in Belgrade at night. If you're heading to city center, the price is always fixed and you will get a receipt like this before taking the taxi. But when in the city, be aware looking for taxi's company on the top plate of the car, or the bill will be unexpectedly expensive. Belgrade Fortress is said to be the best place for sunset. It was quite hot in mid-October. The park in front of the fortress is quite lovely, beside which is the best location to see River Sava. By the time of the sunset, the wall was already packed with people. I listened to the blue Danube one little, so it was always nice for me to see the river Danube with my own eyes. After it went dark, the Republic Square turned extraordinarily glorious. The second morning, as I walked around the neighborhood, I saw National Assembly of the Republic of Serbia. And then, the Church of St. Mark came into my eyes. It is delicately built, and the park around it was so quiet that I could hear the morning bell clearly. Heading down to the city center, and you will find the famous Moscow Hotel. Our next stop was to the Temple of St. Sava. It is said to be the largest Orthodox church in the world. Unfortunately, when we got there, it was still under construction, but I'd like to visit it again when completed. Getting around Belgrade is convenient. Most attractions are within walk distance. But if you need to cross districts, it's better to get a bus card. Before leaving for Belgrade, I read online that you can buy the card at any kiosk stand. But obviously that's not true, so I kept asking and searching. Finally find a shop to buy the card. It's a card for two persons use, and you can use the card on bus, tram or train in Belgrade. You can also use it to get to Zeman. In Belgrade, there are tons of museums and art galleries. The most activity involving is Tesla Museum. If you studied physics, you've probably heard of him. The session was conducted in a small building. First, two videos of Tesla, and then experiments and personal reading time. I strongly recommend going there before checking their timetable. Going up the walls of the fortress, there's a military museum where you can learn the history of the nation. Right across Belgrade Fortress Park, there's a small art gallery, and near the Park Buka, there's a museum of applied art 
which is absolutely amazing and gorgeous. The food in Serbia is quite unique. For the start, it has the best McDonald's cake in the world, different from the ones in China and UK. The dishes are salty and cheesy, containing a large amount of meat and fried stuff. I found this taco place by the river Sava. It'd be great to have a drink by the river, but the tacos just did not agree with me very well. Ira's new Bakun cuisine is a relative fancy contemporary restaurant. It's a non-new world hidden behind a the door. They have set menus. All you need to do is choosing between vegetarian or meat courses, with or without wine. For the record, the wine in Serbia is superb. The ingredients they used are quite unimaginable. Considering the recent event, people may think Chinese people eat everything. Well, that's not true, and they certainly did not feel like to touch the dish after knowing it contained beef tacos. However, they did a great job on roasted pork. One interesting thing to do is shooting in partisan stadium. Since it's illegal to have guns in China, I never had the chance to touch the pistols, though it's common thing in other countries. It felt pretty good to have tried this. Like other artworks, films are under strict surveillance in China. I have long ago expected the movie Joker. But it's forbidden in mainland. Luckily, it was on in Belgrade, and I was fortunate enough to watch it in English. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. See you next time.